All right, hey everybody, it's uh, Yusef and Rusty, and probably my wife will come in soon with Sophia for Dad's Free Time Let's Plays, where I play the games when no one needs me. <laughs> um, somebody requested for this game to be played a while ago, and um, I was going to complete the game, and I finally got... All of the uh, all of the the achievements it takes to complete the game. So now I'm going to do the one last playthrough it takes for me to have the game completed. You know, fair enough. Uh, I've gotten the special outfit of Ishtar, or the special outfit you get by collecting all of Ishtar's bones, which uh, there's a. I will post a thing that will show yeah, you where all the sure. locations are. Okay. I'll take him. It's time, Enoch. Are you ready to leave? No problem. Everything's fine. Good. Then let's go. I gotta say, I'm kind of looking forward to this trip. Say... You've not been down below for some time, have you? You're in for a surprise. Right. Time to go. So I can't tell if Enoch is supposed to be Enoch. in heaven. Certainly if he was in heaven, I uh, think that there would be better stuff to do than write See those figures in the books distance? that nobody's going to read. Try and reach them. One thing's for sure, he's probably got one of the strongest arms on the planet. On the planet in heaven. It's like, well, if you're a scribe for the Lord, you, you get some real good writing skills. The tools and weapons humans use are all based on wisdom from heaven. Wisdom that is in all those wisdom books you wrote. Wisdom humans couldn't attain in a thousand years. Right. Anyway, try jumping to those figures. The fruits of wisdom. The fruits of wisdom. The fruits of wisdom. <laughs> no, I can't even say it were created by God. They can be helpful to people or they can be abused for evil. It all depends on how you use them. Don't let your enemies draw near them in battle. So I have no idea what they're talking about. Okay. Maybe they're talking can about these little um, shadowy, curvy things. Because they're... And no fruits of wisdom. You a unique gift, the power of choice. Free will. They can follow any path they desire. So choose your path carefully. The future of mankind depends on it. Tutorial, tutorial. Let's see how you do in sandals, my friend. Not bad. 
If you're that good with your bare hands, let's see how you handle one of God's weapons. An arch. Not to be confused with the double arches of, of a fast food place. Wisdom, the fallen angel stole. One arch is a good weapon against evil. Two now arches. It, Enoch. This makes children and people fat all over the place and apparently is a good place to fight. Apparently this is one of the weapons that uh, the fallen angels gave gave the people, but uh, I think this is the first time I've ever seen this weapon in life in the game, so... God took his fruits of wisdom back. Shards of God's wisdom were stolen. The Semyaza's betrayal was uncovered. But by then, those are the seven angels falling he from heaven. By the way, had already fled. I hadn't noticed that until I played just now. But they're continuing the narrative by showing the angels that are falling. That was the help help me chapter, so this is really chapter one. Don't you think it's interesting they gave Enoch a British accent uh, even though he barely says anything? Here. Turn the fallen angels to heaven. That is your mission. Don't worry. We'll be with you all the way. Careful now. We're crossing over. Once we breach the veil, we'll be on Earth. Bring back any memories, Enoch? Seven angels have fallen to earth. Big mistake. We're going to tear out their souls and lock them in this prison for eternity. These shackles will bind the fallen angels in their prison. Michael's ring. Huh? Uh. Could you open those for them? They've never been used before, so they must be real tight. Don't worry if you have to knock them around a bit. Okay, so there must be some reason to have them here that's outside of the story because you don't need to have this knowledge any other time in the game. Semyaza. You know the boss. He used to be an elder on the council. Four eyes. Noise. Barakel, may this be the place he dies. You got a mustache or something? Now, for the life of me, I only remember Arakel. fighting. We can't let him live out his days on Earth. Fighting two actual, uh, or not two. Three actual angels? Four actual angels. Sariel, don't let his idea of love fool you. So maybe they ran out of facial character designs. Armor us. <laughs> Good luck getting him to repent. Ezekiel, 
She talks of love, but doesn't know the meaning. She got a lot of face piercings. Goodness gracious. Something you didn't write about in one of your little books. Azazel, leader of the Grigori, and Semyaza's right hand man. Is he yawning or something? Why does he look like a Muppet? Watch out, Enoch. Good thing the good thing the floating the floating geese that are supposed to be archangels found this out. I don't know where I'd be with voices that seem to be coming out of nowhere, but are really birds following me around, protecting me. Just a time waster. All right. Finally. I can finally hit hit the ground from heaven with my seven fingered hand this is it, Enoch. A spaceship thing. Your journey begins here. I like how the spaceship the fingers of the spaceship or wherever the what you call it, a heaven ship? Well I love how the fingers of the spaceship, heaven ship, whatever. Uh, came came prepackaged with with a dossier on on the characters I needed to fight. Maybe each finger is like the jail that I'm supposed to lock the the bad guys up in. Freeze time. Let our voices be a light unto your path. Let our powers combine. Earth, fire, wind, water, heart. Happiest power ever. Do you ever think in Captain Planet that the one who controls heart, that they have to say it like out loud? Oh, a heart is the best power of them all, but really he's like an old school operator. He just connects everybody together with the power of his ring and telepathy. Alright, at first I thought these orange orbs meant something when I did the first playthrough, but they don't really. Mercy. By that we mean free people by whooping that ass. It's a little secret down here. There's actually a fruit of wisdom. They didn't explain what it was, which kind of sucks. But you gotta collect all of them to get uh, the high score, you know, to get that godlike mode. And they're all hidden, but of course, you know me, uh, in the achievements video that I'll be making after I do this playthrough, I will totally tell you where all of them are. Oh, and you get followed by geese everywhere. I 
Although apparently. Uh oh. Can you feel it? I feel the cosmos. As you purify enemies, their vileness accumulates on your weapon. It is possible, however, to remove such vileness by purifying the actual weapon. Take heart, Enoch. If anyone can purify a weapon, it's you, God's chosen one! Is a bra. It cleanses all things vile. It's like they made Enoch to be a girl, and then they were like, "Oh, Enoch is a man." When a weapon is equipped, you can move in ways that maximize the weapon's effectiveness. When barehanded, you can evade enemy attacks by spinning. And guard plus jump. Okay. Hey, baby. <laughs> There's guard. And I push the jump button and nothing happens. Whatever. So later on in the game, you get a uh, power that helps you, and the orange orbs help uh, maximize your power with the guy, maximize the sync level. And, uh, <laughs> what's up? My wife has just come through and put Sophia in a stroller. Or a walker. <laughs> now she's on me. Oh! Alright, come on. Let's play together. Sabotage. Wow, let's see if I can do some multitasking, ladies and gentlemen. With Sophia in my in my arms. Controller in my hands. So if I make any sudden weird movements, you know it's because. <laughs> Not that Jesus took the wheel, but my daughter did. So, uh oh. Hey, what's the matter? You don't trust me? I guess. Well, I'd say so far so good. Uh huh. Look, his hair is you so know, blonde, gold no dust just floats off After of it. After all, you are the Lord. 
Yeah. All right. Catch you later. Leave the record keeping to me. Just give me a shout if you spot me. I'll report upstairs on your progress. I'm sorry, I can't do like a really chilled out white guy voice. Leave me the record. Leave the record keeping to me. Just give me a shout out if you. I can't. I can't do it. I'm more suited for goofy voices and accents. Keep it a secret. I already played this this level, but then forgot to hit the capture button because I was tired as hell. Remember to speak to Lucifer. He will record your progress and report to God. Yeah, I get it. I just read that. The game is weird. Sometimes it tells you things, and sometimes it doesn't. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes it tells you things more than once, but it expects you to read the rest. Like, as far as the story is concerned, it expects you to read the story. That's why I'm pretty much talking to you about it, because I went and... Wait, where am I going? You can go all the way to that side and collect more stuff, but there's nothing over there, really. That's why you gotta follow the water. The water that's frozen in time. Brah. If it isn't Enoch and his halter top. His bustier armor. Enoch. What brings you? <coughs> Somebody took a light bulb, scrunched it together, and then <coughs> put the shards all over his body. So heaven is in an unforgiving mood. I'm crushing your head. No matter. We are already in a better position than we ever were. Those guys with the big eyes, man, they're killing me. I get that they're watchers. So you imagine just chilling out at the uh, place and one of those guys starts liking you and you can't keep his eye off you? Kicking it with Sophia at the coffee shop and all of a sudden this one-eyed man is just staring. Your bird is really cute. I think that's a song. Not even God can stop us now. No choices left. Mm. Mm. I'm still repeating myself. Oh, thank God. Gone! Apparently, he had a lot of conversations with sure God before he sent Enoch, huh? Confidence. Very stupid. Either way, stupid. we've got to bring him back, or things are going to get a lot wetter around here. I wonder if he means wet like water or wet like bloody, like wet works. So Enoch has the power of the double jump, which is a necessity in any platformer, let me tell you. Unless, or any, uh... <laughs> well, any, uh, fun platformer. I guess you don't have the double jump in Super Mario Brothers or anything. But if he has the I'm sure arch, he can Enoch. float. Recognize me, Enoch. I brought this body so this to deliver is... a message. We are at your side. 
always. <laughs> I like the. I can always spot the black guy voice. We are at your side. I'm British, but I'm also African. Something about you. I hope you find who you're looking for. No need to rush. There's plenty of time. So basically, fact, Enoch came down from heaven. <laughs> and that whole front part is the pre the prelude. The must be there. All of this uh, exposition right here is what happened Enoch. between the tower and the next scene. is a lie. It does not exist. Enough. If I stay, it'll be the end of me. Fear not, Hadroniel. The four great angels are with thee. You're being a good girl, Sophia. I'll be getting married soon. I am messing up your attention span by having you pay like attention you, to TV. Forever. How is it you do not age? <laughs> Eternal life is just a myth. Show ever the meaning of mortality. You have been granted the gift of immortality. Your quest will continue until you find the fallen ones. Huh? Me? I'm not going anywhere. I like that picture of him. He's like, what? Midrash, Raphael has a gift for you. Midrash is another name for Enoch. These lakes appeared a century ago. Aha. Uh -huh. So this is where they fell. I bet they're still close by. I come from the tower. You don't know when to quit. Mm. You mad. So you chose to ignore my warning. I mean, how would... <laughs> I don't know how anyone wouldn't figure out that's him. I mean, he's, what, walking around... Walking around, uh... Africa and stuff with all that blonde hair. Well, it's the Book of Enoch, so I assume... My wife just asked if he was African. The Book of Enoch, so I assume that it was like a Middle Eastern African deal. But of course, you know, heaven and everything. We need we need Enoch to be, you know, German. Hold on. So while I'm fighting uh, what's his face, I'll go ahead and, and explain what just happened. So basically, in the story of the Book of Enoch, uh, Enoch rolled with God for 300 years, right? Even though I didn't get to read the Book of Enoch because it was taken out of the Bible. In the Bible, it does mention Enoch in the Book of Genesis, and that's all it says. 300 years. Congratulations. 
Ouch, ouch. I have a dodge button. Dodge! Oh, Yusef, you're supposed to dodge! Man. Get for using the dodge button. Come on! In these fights, it's a little bit better to uh, let them attack you first and then counter. Because if you attack them straight up, it messes up your day. If you're playing in the extra super mode, like a couple of hits could jack you up like big time. Yeah! No, 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 no. A little Street Fighter for you. Oh, Rusty senses a uh, uh, oh. Tim walking by. This is the last time you will see me. There's a certain person that crosses Do the street that the my dog doesn't like. Again. See, they're trying to weave choice in here. So when you're actually playing the game, you don't really have time to look at the story too much. So I've played through the game what three times already or so. So I'm pretty clear on it now. Um, let me go ahead and explain what just happened. You moving through here is uh, you being put on Earth by God, right? And you kind of froze time and stuff. However, uh, once you got to that part, three man. Free men help you along in your uh, way. Although um, you get. You get the information from the Freeman right when you walk up to them. You don't quite get them after you've gotten the information for the first time. Then they just give you uh, heal ups and power things. So you basically uh, were put on the Earth by that stupid little spaceship thing. And then after you finished that, you did the silhouette, the silhouette stuff, which was basically the um, angels. The angels forcing you, or the you looking for the that tower, right? <laughs> it's gonna be a little noisy here. It's basically the angels looking for you. Uh, you're looking for the tower, and the angels are sending things towards you to try and kill you, like throughout the whole uh, time. It takes you a long long time a couple hundred years I think to find the tower so that's why Enoch has to change his names a few times because you know once they figure out what his name is then they send bad guys after him great of course the this is not a job the black their hands. Oh. liberate one of their arches Taking it back. It looks like you'll have something that belongs to me. So anyway, where was I? So you change your name and then uh, of course the uh, Pretty much all the people that talked to you and gave you any helpful information that were, was a different voice happened to be one of those geese that's floating around above you. It's one of God's 
angels, um, which will they'll be introduced more in detail a little bit later. That's a that's an angel talking to you, trying to lead you. Uh, uh, yo, yo, yo. That abomination is the tower in which the fallen ones hide. Strange. That little the whale fin over there. You don't have to fight these guys. Hey, sorry about that. Uh, no, haven't found it yet. You can give him a shout and and uh, hard save things, but he automatically he automatically soft saves things. So it really doesn't matter. It matters when you're trying to achieve the hard levels, though, because uh, every time you fall and, and die, you uh, lose your godlike status. So you would have to stop and then reset the whole game. Those hard saves really matter for something then. Because if you mess up on the soft save, or you accidentally get a soft save when you don't need it, then you're gonna have to go back to the hard save, which happens like four times a chapter. If you hear any noise, you know that's Sophia busting up stuff, taking names. So that was uh, basically uh, them showing you that the tower, the Metatron Tower was... Well, I keep calling it the Metatron Tower. They didn't call it anything, did they? I don't even know what Metatron is. <laughs> they, um, they're basically telling you that the angels hid their tower in a, a different dimension. And uh, you finally figured out where the break is in the dimension, which was that the the gate to the that dimension was the little fish fin tower or whatever. So you finally found it, you know, uh, in the little exposition story. I got saintly. I got the secret bonus. In the exposition story, they basically, I say basically a lot. In the exposition story, they, the, one of the angels say that they got a gift from God that basically points out where they, where they landed in the, in the, um, on the earth, which created a crater that made a lake. So you go to the lake to figure out where they are and lo and behold there's only one tower in the whole place apparently so <laughs> you're using your brilliant skills of deduction you figure that that's where the angels are even if you can't sense any darkness around there right anyway so uh now you know a little bit more about the story than they really explain or they explain but you're too busy uh hacking and slashing your way to to greatness 
<laughs> and uh, I will see you for chapter two when uh, when Enoch makes his way to the tower. All right. And, uh, you know, like, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Whoop-de-whoop. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.